from recycling plants to some really cool pants. You're going to love this. A local clothing company is turning plastic bottles into fun and fashionable yoga wear. Founder Lindsay Hemrick from Tiki is here. She's going to tell us all about their mission. And I understand you brought some really young yoga ambassadors with you. I did, yeah. So where did the idea for this company come from? We throw those uh, plastic bottles into our recycling bin. We never really know what happens to them. Yeah, so I've always been into the environment and I was an athlete growing up and had trouble finding, you know, eco-conscious clothes to practice in and to train. And so, yeah, when I, I just always knew from a child that um, I wanted to be a fashion designer and yeah, so. Here so this I am. is great. You take the plastic <laughs> bottles, you recycle them at your plant, upcycle them. Yes. And, and turn them into great clothing. Uh, the models are wearing uh, some of the pants here as they do their moves. And, you know, when you do yoga, the most important thing is you have to be comfortable. Yes, it's so important. It's all about relaxing and, like, really getting into your body and just, like, really enjoying the body that we've been given, you know, so. And I noticed that the uh, colors that you choose and the patterns, they're not traditionally what we think of when we think of yoga clothes. They're bright, <laughs> they're fun, they're beautiful, they look like they're inspired by nature. Yeah, they are, they're, they're super fun. They're, you know, meant to make, well, they're made to, you know, make women feel beautiful and really express themselves however they want. And yeah, it's been, I designed all these pieces in my 20s, I just turned 30, so. Congratulations. Yeah, How does the process actually work? It sounds difficult. You take plastic bottles, turn them into beautiful clothing. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's your plan? It's here in LA? Yes, yep. We manufacture everything locally in LA and um, the water bottles are actually broken down into tiny cubes. It's a simple process and then melted like honey into yarn. So it saves 90% of um, typical water use when making fabric. So it's saving on our water usage which is super important that we're because we're in a drought right now in California especially so so it's like a plastic yarn let me pull a pair of these it pants is, yeah. out here let's see what do we have and they feel super super soft yeah they are they're really soft it's like and a second skin wh where did you come up with this idea um, I actually I was making bikinis and I didn't have anything to wear to yoga practice and so I made a pair of pants and they're wickable breathable quick dry perfect for the hot yoga class and yeah it kind of just became a thing after that. How difficult was it? Did you have to go through a lot of processes before you finally figured it out and got the right? I did. I mean it took about six months of like working with the fit and the pattern and and the prints and stuff because that was a new thing for me so. And where can people find these if they're interested? You can find them on tiki.com. We're in a lot of, a lot of local studios um, around the world. Okay, so just pants at this point? Are you planning to make other clothes? We are, yes. And, and tell us tell us about your uh, yoga ambassadors that you brought with us today. I understand that we have two very young yogis. They're actually yes. yoga instructors, certified, the youngest ever. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. They're 13 years old and it's they're just such a light for the world and so creative and doing this at such a young age and very ambitious and really inspiring to all of us, so. And it, it, JC uh, looks like she's attempting a, a pretty difficult pose there. <laughs> the crow pose, uh, yes. can you tell us about that? Yeah, crow pose is a nice arm balance and arm strengthener and it's just really fun to get off your feet and fly a little bit. And how long have you been doing yoga? I've been doing yoga since I was about eight or nine but I really love the yoga. All right, let's so. see that crow pose, <laughs> right. JC. And we also have Kaya with us and Kaya is 13 as well. Yeah and both certified. All right, you mentioned that you will have some other products coming out. What can we look forward to? Some cute t-shirts, yoga mat made of um, recycled tree rubber. Hmm. It's really awesome. What, what is recycled tree rubber? Or, so it comes from the rubber tree. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's all eco-friendly and natural. And um, the grip is amazing. A lot of times, you know, when you have a yoga mat, you want it to have really good grip because it actually enhances your practice. And with this natural tree rubber, you, your hands grip so well to the mat. So we're really excited about that. That comes out this holiday season. And I understand that your company is also involved in uh, some charitable organizations and you have a big event coming up this weekend. Yes, we have one love event in San Diego, which will be a lot of fun. So that's people doing yoga, everybody coming together to do yoga yep. together. Yep. Oh, great. Lindsay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, thank you very much. Uh, you could join Tiki this weekend, that special yoga event to help the One Love Movement 
The uh, proceeds actually go to help children who are affected by homelessness right here in our community. Again, it's this Saturday, that's September 13th. It's at San Diego Waterfront Park. They're at San Diego Harbor. For all the ticket information and more on Tiki and their other upcoming events, just go to kcal9.com. You can click Seen on TV.